let's just say we're very hard to kill. On today's episode, we discuss the Netflix movie The Old Guard featuring Charlize Theron. He's Jay. I am. I'm Alan. That's Ben. We're three bros with three opinions all about movies. This is Mood Jabs. Let's go. Okay, the old guard. Jump into it. Jump, jump into, into it. it. All right, I'm going to jump into jump it. Jump into it. It's decent. <laughs> right in the deep end. Right in the deep end. Get into it. All right, so this movie. No floaties. This movie kind of kind of got my interest a little bit because it's based on a comic This book. is your kind of movie. Well, it would be. It would be if it was done right. But let's talk about what it is. So the old guard is a movie based on a five-part miniseries that was done by Image Comics. Didn't know that. I know you guys have no idea what Image Comics is, but to give you a nope. clue, it's the redheaded stepchild of DC and Marvel. I know you know those two at least. Yep. And you might not. I like redheads. The, 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 <laughs> the, good, the, good, the good thing about this is they brought on a Do good writer. Right. So, so Greg Ruka, this guy has written for some of the best stuff. He's done Batman stuff. He's done Wolverine. He's done Wonder Woman. He's okay. done Superman. He's done okay. Supergirl. I so the guy knows... Comics, and he knows how to write a good story. And a second good thing they, they did was they brought a really good artist in. Um, I don't know how to say his first name correctly. Leonardo, Leonandro, Leandro Fernandez. Well, Leandro. 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 Okay, thank right. you. So Leandro Fernandez, the good thing for him is he comes from Deadpool. But it kind of rubbed me the wrong way when I heard that because I was like, oh, Deadpool, old guard? Same thing. <sighs> but I appreciate the gesture. Am I crazy? Or is your hand really small? It's about the size of a KFC spork. <laughs> no difference. Played out. Right. Yeah. So the old guard, the biggest thing about this is they're a group of soldiers. They've been around for hundreds or thousands of years, mm. and they can't die. Deadpool. Deadpool hasn't been around for thousands of years, but can't die. Well, except there's four of them, and Charlize Theron is like their leader. Play, uh, she plays Andy, and yeah. l l pretty much like you're saying, like the whole movie is... They're good guys that try and fight bad guys, and they cannot die. Right, and their purpose is not to run the world or anything like that. It's to kind of steer the world in the right direction by intervening in wars with terrorism and major plots and stuff. So mm -hmm. I think we discussed before, like, let's just say that there was a new Hitler. They would kind of intervene and be like, yeah, it's not a really good look here. Right. Let's, let's get rid of this right, guy. Exactly. And that's when they would step in. Right. They're not gonna. They're not. Gonna, so, they don't interfere with everything. They just kind of say that's gonna be bad. Let's let's take care of that. So you good guys or bad guys? Depends on the century. So we really never die. Just because we keep living doesn't mean we stop hurting. <laughs> Throughout history, we've protected this world, fighting in the shadows. So did you like it overall? Your I thoughts? wanted to like it more than I, Ooh, I don't did. Like that. Oh wow. And the biggest thing for me was the main villain of this was just so cliche, so out oh, overplayed. The, the, the nerd? Yeah, I like, couldn't. Like, like 40 the scientist, bodyguards? The, yeah, the, I the, mad, the mad scientist. Yeah, I hated it. The angry, evil, mad scientist. I hated yeah. it. When, okay. when, when yeah. they got into that, I was just like, Ew. Here we go again. Yeah, I think yeah. it runs yeah. a company yeah, it called bad. Merrick or something like that. Yeah, something or like that. One, the whole purpose is the, the, the... I mean, the purpose of the company, I guess, so the, the purpose is the company wants, like, I guess, the, the old DNA. guard's DNA to pretty much end disease. Right, end so, disease and, and help cure people, but the replicate, nerdy... Replicate whatever they can... Uh, yeah, yeah, but the nerdy exactly, scientist, right. of course, takes it too far, and he gets too into it, and it's all about money, and right, he's greed, exactly. and... Exactly, he wants He becomes abusive. Drug. Yeah, yeah. Right. and and, and the, the nerdy scientist hires an ex-CIA agent played by... I can't say his name. Oh, uh, it's uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor? Yeah. Ejiofor? yeah. I I think and, and he was the saving grace of this movie for me. He plays me. James. He was the saving yeah. grace for this movie good for actor. me because mm -hmm. Great actor. He, the guy actor. is a phenomenal actor. Mm -hmm. And and the first place I ever saw him in, you guys are going to have no idea what I'm talking about, but it comes from another sci-fi comic book-esque movie, uh, Serenity, uh, based on the Firefly series that Josh Whedon did. Big I do Marvel like Firefly, guy. actually. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do, well, I like Firefly. I don't well, anyway, know so he was in that, and that's where I first learned about him, but then I've seen him in tons of movies since then. And yes. he he was in uh, Doctor Strange, and mm -hmm. the guy is just a great actor. Literally, and you you see him in like every 
comics movie and you that, that's why you like him. No, he's not in every comic movie. I'm he's saying that's why you like him. Well, that's probably why I like him. But he's kind of to me, to me, he's kind of like the British version of Denzel Washington with his acting chops. Not, not, don't, don't get me wrong. No one's as good as Denzel, but this guy is close to him. Okay. Speaking of British, I love how they can just lose their accent anytime they want. Yeah. But but there's no American that could do a, a legit British accent. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Right? That's true. That's true. Kind of, it's all right, so what, what, what did you like it, love it, what? I like it. Okay, so <laughs> me. I mean, just, okay, so well, 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 that's ben, all you have to say. So I'm gonna jump into to, to live because ben, ben just literally took everything. So I know nothing. I know nothing. Of, I know nothing about any like the mini series. Nothing about like comics. Anything like that. So for me, it was kind of new. As stupid as that might sound, it was kind of new to me. Um, I liked it. I had to get past like the whole fact that none of this is realistic at all. Oh, yeah, you yeah. had to get past, well, I mean, you know, you run, you run into a group of 40 people and they're but, but these all, days, their what, guns what, are all going to jam at the what, same time. What, what movies are like super it's realistic? It's fine. But honestly, for me, I felt like nothing really happened in the movie. Yes. Like, very well. Yes. I was waiting for them to like get in and like, actually have like, an, like a really good villain, but it really wasn't. It was them just like saving themselves. Yeah. It, it rather never, than it was so, to me, it wasn't like any type of like superhero Deadpool, anything like that. It was just like, we're going to save ourselves from these people. It didn't have, and then it didn't have the traditional story arc. Yeah. That comes back down. Right. It was just again, straight across. Again, so another right. movie that kind of just plateaued. Yeah. It just kind of I mean, plateaued. Was, from start to finish, it, it was, was kind of just meh. Right. Now, did I, did I love it? No. Did I hate it? No. It was okay. I liked it. You liked it. Um, I will supposedly there was supposed to be another one. Mm -hmm. So I was say, okay. will I watch the second one? Right. Yes. And the ending, the ending of this yes. leaves you on a big cliffhanger because there's a major right. character that they refer to throughout the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Right. That. They haven't been able to find because she's another member For, of the I old... I mean, like, thousands right. of years. Yeah, she's another member of the yeah. old guard, and she kind of got lost. In. Now, without that, I wouldn't watch the second one. Sure, yeah. If they didn't the have last, that, The last terrible. two minutes of that movie makes me want to watch the That's second one. Right. So, right. without that, I would be totally out. So, on a scale of, you know, one to ten jabs, I'm going to give it five <laughs> out of ten jabs. And right. I, But I will watch the second one when it comes out. Uh, just because it didn't kind of hit the mark... For me, from start to finish, I'm not saying it was a terrible movie, but I'm gonna give it six. I'm I'm gonna go double up on you. I'm gonna go six as well. Yeah. So um, if for a Netflix movie, good. I, I mean, if I, it was a theater movie, I would have oh, terrible. Yeah, if, if, if you I, have, if I paid for it, I would be disappointed. Yeah. If you have nothing else to do and you're just hanging out on the couch on a you know yeah. Sunday afternoon, toss it on. It's two hours long, so it'll yeah. kill some time. It's a good time killer. It's fun. It's got yeah. plenty will, of action. I, will say, I, I was gonna say it has a lot of good action though. Yeah, yeah, the, the action was good. Yes, it was and good. And the acting, the acting wasn't great. And I wouldn't say it Charlize was, Theron's it was, it best performance by and, far. No. She definitely has done far, far better. Yes. But she did well enough and she carried the film well yeah. enough that it kept you interested. So I, I think that's pretty good. Yep. So, so give it a look and uh, let us know what you think. All right, we're out. <laughs>